YouTube channel. My name is Ruby Red and I'm one of the Yandy Vixens. For this video, I'm going to do a 2021 Halloween costume try-on haul featuring different styles from a lot of different categories of costumes. Now all these pieces are part of my curated collection with Yandy.com. Of course, we will leave links to each piece in the caption below. Before I get started, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash rubyred. Now let's jump on in and see how each of these Yandy Halloween costumes fit. First up, we have the Yandy Dr. Feelin' Good costume. This is an exclusive costume that features a teal blue halter dress with crisscross neckline, a medic logo, adjustable garter straps, a clip-on badge, a matching face mask, as well as a choker. So this costume is definitely giving me the kind of doctor's scrub vibes. It's not your typical doctor's costume, which is why I love it so much. It's definitely the, obviously the sexier version of doctor's scrubs when they're probably like going into surgery, which I absolutely love. I think that essential workers is definitely going to be a huge category for Halloween this year, just with everything happening with the pandemic. So I think this is just one sexy version of that costume if you're looking for that category of costumes. So this dress is pretty much more of a mini dress. Um, of course, there are garter straps on the front of the dress, not on the back. So you can hold up some thigh high stockings as I have done here. These are the plus size thigh high nylon stockings with a bow that are also from Yandy. I will leave a link to this one in the caption below. And these come in white as I'm wearing as well as black. So I think thigh high stockings are definitely essential for any kind of Halloween costume. If not, some thigh high boots. Um, but you can't go wrong with some thigh-high stockings and a sexy mini dress costume. Next up we have the Crafty Witch costume. This is one of the best-selling costumes from Yandy.com. A witch costume is definitely popular every year for Halloween. I think that it just kind of makes sense. So this costume features a black velvet and distressed net romper with a snap crotch closure, a choker body harness, an attached garter strap with a wraparound leg garter, and a matching witch's hat. So this is pretty much like a bodysuit with the velvet and then there's an overlay of this distressed net that kind of covers your backside, your front. It also comes across in the chest just kind of make the one piece all fit together then you have the one leg strap as well as a separate harness that goes around your neck and around your waist now this costume does come with the witch's hat as well which I think is essential to any kind of witch costume for this one you can definitely wear some either fishnets or some thigh highs with this one I just paired some ankle booties that are pointier to kind of go with a witch kind of a feel. You could always go with thigh highs as well, but I think it is sexy where you have your thighs exposed as well as having that strap wrap around your thigh. So obviously this costume is one of the most popular for Yandy.com and I can definitely see why I absolutely love it. It's an easy classic costume that you can't go wrong with. Next up, we have the Sidekick Pooch costume, which is obviously playing off of Scooby-Doo. This costume features a brown spotted long sleeve romper, a keyhole neckline, a bright blue zip up front, a matching collar with tag, an attached tail, and a snap crotch closure. It also has the ear headband with the dog ears. So you definitely get a lot with this costume. I love that it's all 
in one put together. You have the identical pattern of Scooby-Doo along with the ears, the same blue collar with the tag, and then you can dress it up however you want. So with this, I did add some thigh highs. I think that this costume would go great with some thigh high stockings as well. And then the tail does have a wire in it so you can kind of sit it however you want. You can make it a little bit more straight, a little bit more curvy. It's really up to you. I definitely love how this bodysuit fits me. It hugs all of my curves, definitely accentuates my waist. You can of course zip and unzip the blue zipper down the middle and tighten the collar around your neck however tight or loose you want it. The ears are great too. There's wire in the ears so you can adjust those however you want as well. This is just an easy costume. You honestly wouldn't need to add anything to it except figuring out if you're going to wear thigh highs or booties or boots. Next up we have the Yandy Comet Me costume. This is an exclusive costume that features a futuristic silver metallic bodysuit with structured short sleeves, a plunging neckline with strappy details, a contrast black trim with a Saturn space bust patch, a space age stand up collar, and a black elastic waist belt. So I will say this costume was a little bit of a struggle to put on, um, but I think that once you have it on, it is stays secure. Of course, you have everything in place. It does accentuate your curves, especially with this black waist belt. I love the kind of open black slits across the chest. I think it's super sexy and adds a lot of cleavage and holds your girls in place. The sleeves are fun as well. And I think that once you kind of situate how the collar is around your neck, that I think it will stay in place. I hadn't situated it, so it was a little bit of a struggle for me, but overall, I can definitely see myself wearing this for a long period of time. I love all the black trim detailing, and then you just have the silver metallic bodysuit. Super easy to wear. Of course, you could definitely add some fishnets, I think would look great with this costume as well. I just kept on the same short booties because I think it went well with this costume. Or if you can find some silver thigh highs, that would just make this costume even better. Overall, great costume, easy to wear, and definitely one to think about. Next up, we have the Buttery Babe costume, which is obviously made to look like a bag of popcorn. This costume features a red and white striped romper with popcorn detail, an attached tool bustle, a yellow belt, footless thigh-high stockings, a matching purse, and a popcorn headpiece. So pretty much everything that I'm wearing right here is part of the costume except for my shoes. The only thing you're gonna have to think about is whether you want to wear red or white heels with this costume. I love that it all comes together. You literally don't have to pick anything else out. Um, I love that it has this yellow belt that says popcorn. It definitely looks like the kind of typical red and white striped bag of popcorn that you would get um, traditionally at like a movie theater. And I absolutely love that it comes with a matching bag. I think that is just an amazing detail that you don't find a lot with costumes. I know that especially if you're going out for Halloween you want to carry some money or your ID or your phone with you and it's hard to find something that matches so I think that's just an essential piece of this costume. Everything fits so great. It definitely accentuates my waist. It does cut off my hip a little bit just where the um, holes for the legs are but that was expected. And I love just the tooling detail added on the back side. It covers you up just a little bit, but still cute and fashionable. The footless thigh high stockings can definitely go up higher. Um, on me, they are falling down a little bit, which is why I'm wearing them below the knee, but they can definitely fit above the knee um, if you find a way to keep them in place. But definitely one of my favorite costumes this year. I love all the details and just how accurate everything looks to what it's trying to mimic and love the fit as well.
Last but certainly not least is the Playboy Risque Rabbit Costume. This Playboy officially licensed Risque Rabbit Costume features a sheer cat suit with flock bunny design, long fitted sleeves, and ankle length, as well as a matching bunny ears headpiece. So this piece is straight from Playboy. So if you're trying to be a Playboy bunny for Halloween, you definitely have to go with the Playboy costumes directly from Playboy. So as you can see, this is a sheer outfit. It is long sleeve as well as goes all the way to your ankle, um, but it is completely sheer. So you're definitely gonna want to figure out how to cover up underneath. Of course, for this one, I had to pair it with some nude underwear just to kind of keep the see-through look going. And then I also had to pair it with some Playboy rabbit head pasties directly from Yandy.com as well. These come in black, white, as well as pink and white. These are exclusive pasties directly from Playboy that feature the classic two-tone hue as well as the oversized signature rabbit logo with the bow tie detail. These are some of my favorite pasties so I had to pair them with my Playboy costume. This is just a super sexy costume. If you're going for the Playboy look, I know a lot of people just go for the bodysuit and the ears but I think switching it up to this sheer all over jumpsuit is just makes it so much better super sexy because you are covered up but it is see-through and just a great way to kind of spice it up for Halloween this year Thank you guys so much for watching my Yandy 2021 Halloween costume haul. Please be sure to comment and let us know which costume was your favorite. Also, don't forget to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash rubyred. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey YouTube, it's Jamilet Cajola. If we left you satisfied, prove it by checking our channel. And don't forget to subscribe.